class. This is Mrs. Groves, and we are going to continue our discussion on quadratic functions. Right. So notice we have our standard quadratic equation, but now we've added that we're going to have this B term, and that's going to mean that we have to calculate the axis of symmetry. So for a review, the standard quadratic function is, and whenever we do any problems, we always, step one, identify A, B, and C. Now that's important because the A term tells us our shape. If we have a positive A, it's going to open up. So it opens up if A is positive. And if we have a negative A, it opens down. because we have a negative A. So the A tells us our shape. The C, remember, it tells us the y-intercept. The y-intercept is C. Right? So wherever it lands, so here's our x-axis, here's our y-axis, and our y-intercept sits here, and so that is our y-intercept. So the point 0c is on the parabola, and I'd like you from now on to just label that point with a y. What's nice about knowing where the y-intercept is after you find where the axis symmetry is, you know that you're going to have a point to the right here. So now, the axis symmetry is going to be our magic line. It's our imaginary line. And so, let's do that in a different color. So the axis of symmetry, I told you, we're not, I'm not going to make you write out axis of symmetry. Okay has the equation opposite of b over 2a. And it's important, this isn't negative b, it's the opposite of b. And so this imaginary line that goes in the middle here, all right, this is the axis of symmetry and this is the equation of this vertical line. So now we know where the axis of symmetry is. We'll just make it very, very obvious that this is an imaginary line right here. Our vertex is going to sit somewhere on this axis of symmetry. So the vertex, the x-coordinate, is going to be the opposite of b over 2a, right? And the y-coordinate you're going to have to calculate. So. Important key points. The axis of symmetry is a vertical line and it's x equals something. Okay, 
the vertex is a point on the axis of symmetry. So let's do a problem. We're going to walk through this problem right here. And so here we want to graph this equation. And I disagree here. This is step two. Step one. What is A, what is B, and what is C? So notice that this has a negative in front of the x squared. So that means that the, the um, a is negative 1. And what does that tell us? Well, that tells us that we are going to have a parabola that's going to go down. So determine whether the parabola opens up or down. Because a is less than 0, we have a negative a the parabola opens down. Now we've got B and B is 4. So now we have to calculate the axis symmetry because before we had B is 0 and the axis symmetry was the y-axis. And the C is negative 1. All right, so we can just automatically plot the y-intercept, can't we? Because we know the y-intercept is right there. Okay, this is the y-intercept, and the coordinates are 0, negative 1. So now we have to find the axis of symmetry. So that's going to be step three. And the axis of symmetry, really we want it to, let this line go here, okay? We want to take the opposite, the opposite of B. So the opposite of B is negative four over 2, and A is negative 1, right. so this number right here, we're going to get negative 4 over negative 2, and that's going to be 2, so our axis symmetry, we want to write it as the equation of a line, it's x equals 2, and so Here's 2, and we can now draw our imaginary line, and so that is the axis of symmetry, x equals 2. Now I've been told that my videos are getting a little long, so what I'd like you to do is I'm going to try to go a little quicker but you can always pause me and make sure that you understand the concepts that we're going through. All right, now we have the y. It's two units from the axis of symmetry. So we know that we're gonna have another point right there. Okay. Now we want to find the step three, we want to find the vertex. This is actually step four, the vertex. So to find the vertex, the y-coordinate of the vertex is the opposite of b over 2a, which basically just comes from here. In this case, it's 2. 
So the vertex, the x-coordinate is 2. Now we need to find the y-coordinate. So we take this 2, we plug it into this equation, and we're going to get we're going to get what y is. So we're going to substitute 2 for x. So going back to this equation, y equals we have negative, remember that's going to stay on the outside, 2 plus 4 times 2 minus 1 and they made a mistake with these notes. They're telling me that the y is going to be 3. So let's make sure they're right. So this is going to be 2 squared. So that's going to be 4. Negative 4 plus 8 is 4. Minus 1 is 3. So our y is equal to 3. So that's the y-coordinate of the vertex. The y-coordinate of the vertex. So now we have another point we can plot. Okay, 2, 3. And that is the vertex, which is at 2, comma 3. So we know our parabola is going to be going in the right direction. Now the vertex, now you have to, the difference now that we have a B term is, the vertex is going to be in the middle. So the vertex here is 2, 3. And we plot 5 points okay, to make a parabola. So we plot four, five points, so we're going to choose plus and minus two x values around the x coordinate of the vertex. What does that mean? Okay, we've got two here. We're going to take two points above. 3 and 4, 2 points below, 1 and 0. So that's how we pick our 5 points. We The ver vertex is right smack in the middle. Now whenever you have 0, that's really nice. Because if you go back to this equation, right up here, okay, if we put in 0 for x, we're going to get negative 1. And look at that. That's our y-intercept. And we know that these two points should match up because the axis symmetry splits them in half. So we know that this should be 4, negative 1. So here, we can calculate one point to double check our work. So you should use your handy dandy calculator. And just make sure to review this. We're going to go back and we're going to put negative 1 and see what, excuse me, we're going to put 1 in and see what the y value is. So we're going to take the opposite of 1 squared plus 4 parentheses 1 minus 1 and you get the value of 2. And I suggest that you plug in the, the value of 3 and you know what that answer is going to be. And this calculator is really nice because I can arrow right back up here bring this down, and I can replace my 1 with the 3, and it better be 2, and it is. 
So notice these guys match up. So we can now plot 1, 3, and 3, excuse me, 1, 2, and 3, 2. Okay. And so we have our U shape. Now here's a fancy term. Notice points reflect around the axis of symmetry. And this concept of reflecting is an Algebra 2 concept. Okay. And what you just need to know is, is that this Okay, is an imaginary line, and this side is symmetric to that side. All right, so that was step five, and we already did set step six. Draw a parabola, a U shape. It's not a V. So I have a few extra problems to do for practice, and your homework is going to ask you to do these types of problems. So we have two problems here that we are not going to graph. We want to find the axis of symmetry, the vertex, and the y-intercept. So the first thing we always do is identify what A, B, and C is. So you write them down, and I'm going to do it silently. All right, did you get those? So now, just a reminder, A is equal to negative 4, so that means our parabola opens down and the y-intercept has the coordinates 0, negative 9. Nice, huh? So now we want to find the axis of symmetry. And at the very beginning, keep writing this equation. x equals the opposite of b over 2a. So the opposite of b is negative 8 over 2. a is negative 4. So I'm going to get negative 8 divided by negative 8. So I have x equals 1. must write as an equation. So now the vertex is going to have the x-coordinate here. And if you're asked to do this type of a problem, you need to show the calculation for how you found y. Okay, so y is simply going to take this number 1 and replace it here for x. So it's negative 4 times 1 squared plus 8 times 1 minus 9. So negative 4 plus 8 is 4, minus 9 is negative 5. So the vertex is an ordered pair, 1, negative 5. So now I want you to do this problem yourself. Remember, you're going to find A, 
B, C. You need to find the Y intercept. So we'll let you put that there. You want to find the axis of symmetry. So that's X equals the opposite of B over 2A. And then you want to find the vertex. So pause this video and try to do this yourselves. So let's see how good you were. This is kind of a strange equation. We have our A term, our B term, and this is our C term plus zero. So A is negative two, B is negative one, C is zero. So negative two he tells us that our parabola is going to open down. C tells us our y-intercept is going to be 0, 0, because C is 0. So there's our y-intercept. Now we want to find the axis of symmetry. The opposite of B is 1 over 2 and a is negative 2 so we have 1 over negative 4 okay so our equation could be x equals negative 1 fourth or you could write it x equals negative point two five. It's a terminating um, decimal so you could write it as a decimal or as a fraction whichever you're happier with. The vertex is going to have the coordinate negative one-fourth and you're gonna go through and you're gonna find the y value and so you're going to take negative 2 times negative 1 fourth squared minus negative 1 fourth. Okay. So when you put that into your calculator, and I'm not going to make you learn fractions. All right, so we're going to put negative 2 and negative 1 fourth. We square it. It's a negative number, so we have it in parentheses. And we know it's minus negative 1 fourth. And, okay, we get the answer of 0.125. Who knows what that is as a fraction? Well, that is 1 eighth. So your vertex can be written like this or you can write it negative 0.25. It's good practice to put the zero here so to make sure that we know that that's a decimal. And 0 0.125. So both of these answers are correct. Okay, so A gives us the shape. C is the y-intercept, our um, axis symmetry, which is a vertical line that splits our parabola in half. So we would have this parabola like this, and 
the axis symmetry would go right there, and the vertex would go right there. So there would be the vertex, the axis symmetry, okay? But you weren't asked to graph it. And I'm not going to be mean and have you graph decimals for vertexes and axes of symmetry. All right, so for your homework, you're going to have to do the graphing. And what I want you to do whenever you graph is I want you to show these steps. Okay. I want you to say what A equals, B equals, C equals. I want you to find the axis of symmetry which x equals the opposite of b over 2a. And then I want you to create a table, x and y, that has five points. And the vertex is the point that's in the middle. So why don't you pause this video and see if you can do it on your own. And then when you're ready to see how I, I did it, then you can come back. All right. So I'm going through, and I'm doing this problem right here. I'm going to graph this. First thing I do is I find A, B, and C. Negative 2. Well, that tells me that my parabola is going down. 4. 1, that tells me my y-intercept is 0, 1, which is fantastic. So I have one point. Okay, put a little y there. That's your y-intercept. And now, I'm going to try to use a color that's going to be a little brighter. We're going to take the opposite of b, 4 over 2 times negative 2, which is negative 1. So the axis symmetry is an imaginary line that goes right down here, and you label it axis of symmetry, x equals negative 1. There it is. There's your axis of symmetry. All right. Oops. I didn't take the opposite here. Okay, so I did a boo boo. So I'm going to regroup. Notice I didn't take the opposite of 4. So it's negative 4, and that's going to be positive 1. So I'm going to do this on a sheet of paper right here. Here's my x. Here's my y. We found the y-intercept was right there. Okay. And our axis of symmetry is at 1. So here is our axis of symmetry x equals 1. Okay. Let's see if we can get this all to fit up here. Get this on here for us. All right. So, now that we have the the axis symmetry correct. We know the y-intercept is here. 
So we know that there is a matching point on this side. All right. You're going to put in the table one. And you don't have to show the work if you're graphing it for the y-intercept. You're going to plug in one into this equation and you're going to get the value of 3. So the vertex is at 1, 1, 2, 3. There's our vertex. Our vertex is a point one comma 3. So now we're going to take two points high, two points low. So here we've got 2 and 3, and we have 0 and negative 1. And if we put 0 in here, that's going to be 0, that's going to be 0, I'm going to end up with 1. And we know that these points match. And in fact, we already have them graphed, 0, 1, and 2, 1. So then you're going to put in 3 and negative 1. And you're going to make sure that you use your calculator and you know how to get these numbers. They're going to be both negative 5. If you didn't get negative 5, go back and see what you did wrong. So now we plug in those points. Negative 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 5. Notice I'm two units away, so I can just march over here, one, two, one, two. And so now there is my very narrow parabola. And that's all there is to it. Have a good day and see you tomorrow.